Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, TLC Beauty. Hope everyone is doing great when you are watching this. So today's video is going to be products that I'm wanting to use up or hit pan in in 2020. Still kind of weird to say 2020, but um, this year I have a lot more skincare, um, mainly because like with BoxyCharm, well, more so with Ipsy, I get like the small deluxe sizes. So I pulled a lot of those products in that I really want to try and use up the deluxe sizes and see if I like them and if I would purchase the full size or not. So let's just jump in and show you what I want to use up in 2020 or at least hit pan in. So you guys know for my eyeshadow, I always use my Ulta Bone Single. It's just a clear, great eyeshadow to use to set your primer. So this is pretty much in all of my year, yearly use up products. Also, I have a CoverGirl Bombshell eyeshadow in Copper Fling. So this is a liquid eyeshadow, but it goes on a lot like a gel. So I picked it because it will match what you will see in a few minutes. I also chose my Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Golden Pink. This is just a deluxe. And I think this one will go great. That one's just a little bit lighter than the cover girl. So I think that'll even look good as like an inner corner highlight or just on the inner corners of my lids. I did pick one of the Stila Glitter and Glow Deluxe Sizes. This one is in Kit and Karma. And I really don't think I'll have a problem using this one up at all. So there's Kit and Karma, the third one in. For an eyeshadow palette, my first eyeshadow palette, well, no it's not. But this one I don't think I'll have a problem hitting pan on. It is the Too Faced Mini Chocolate Chip. So they are smaller sizes, but this is kind of like an everyday neutral palette. So if I just wear this pretty much daily, I mean, of course I'll incorporate other eyeshadow palettes with my shot, my stash. But if I'm not sure what I want to wear, this is just a great neutral look for me. So I don't think it'll be a problem for me to use that or at least hit pan in one of them. For foundation, I chose two and it's because they don't make this anymore. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. I have the matte foundation and the hydrating foundation. I really doubt it will be hard for me to use these up. Um, this one is a little bit fuller than the matte. So... I'm sure I won't have a problem. And I love the formula in that actually. Um, if you can find your right shade, then it's great. Um, but I thought I would use those two up. For concealers, I went with my e.l.f. Camo, the 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand. And also my Maybelline Master Camo Color Corrector in Apricot. So I put this first down and then I do my foundation and then the concealer and this just helps cover the dark circles a little bit extra. For a bronzer, I went with my Ulta Beauty bronzer in Warm. This is by far one of my favorite drugstore bronzers. This is a newer one, but I don't think I'll have a problem hitting pan. For blush and highlight, I had a hard time deciding so I went into my palette drawer and I picked out the Too Faced Holiday Collection from 2018. And I wanna try and use up this blush and this highlighter. So the blush is Christmas Flush and the highlighter is Angel Kisses. So I wanna try and hit pan on those or at least put a good dent into them. For powders, I chose two. One loose, one pressed. So my loosed one is my Urban Decay Naked Skin. And this one is in medium light. It's maybe about half full, so I don't think that should be a problem. And also the Rimmel Stay Matte in transparent. This one I should be able to hit pan on. I don't think that will be too hard for me. I picked two mascaras. 
The first one is the Physician's Formula Killer Curves and also the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I did two primers. I have my Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer and also my Becca Skin Lab Brighten and Blur. This is just kind of like a, um, a deluxe sample. So I don't really think that that would be too hard to use up. I don't know what's wrong with this lighting here. Okay, let's see if that helps. For an eyeshadow primer, I just went with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Faro 2, but it's light enough that I can use as an eyeshadow primer. For lips, I picked some that I think I can put a really good dent into or at least use up. This one I really want to use up. It's the Skin Iceland Limited Edition Berry Lip Fix. I think I got this in an Ipsy. I also have a Buxom, just like a Buxom Deluxe size. It's about mm, half gone. Also the little Urban Decay Mini in Keep Tame. I don't think that will be hard to use. I have an e.l.f. lip stain, and you can see it's about down to here. So I'm going to put a good dent into that one. Then I have an Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Kinky. And Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. I have two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. One is in Montreal. And the other one is in Monte Carlo. I did pick a CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm. Um, it's just like a gloss, but a tinted one. So this is what that, how much is left there. And this is, is easy. I can just put in my purse and I can have a nice flush of color on my lips. And same kind of with this L'Oreal Nude Balm in Caramel Comfort. So that's how much is left. And then two more lipsticks. I have a Rimmel Kate in 47. That's what's left. And I have a Tarte in Bare Bud. So this is just a good everyday nude for me. So I think the lip products might be the most challenging for me, but we'll see. I have four little like mini perfumes. I have the Yves Saint Laurent Mon Petit, which is about half full. The Lancome La Vie Est Belle, about half full. The Women by Ralph Lauren, again about half full, and Aura Muggler, which is about three quarters of the way full. So that's even great that I can throw in my purse and just do a couple spritzes here and there. For eyebrow pencils, I actually have three. I have two Anastasia Brow Wizzes in medium brown. This is a rollover from last year, so I do want to finish these up. And also my All May Brow Pencil in Brunette. The Anastasia ones I'm actually almost done with. And that's what's left of the All May. I have two brow gels, the Ulta Beauty Brow Shaping Gel in Just Clear and the Molly Brow Beauty Brow Builder. And this one is in Taupe, so that one will add a little bit more color. I have two eyeliners, one by Urban Decay, which is in Rockstar. I've used that one a lot. So let's see how far we can get with that. And I have a gel eyeliner from L'Oreal. It's Blackest Black. And I've put, I've used it a couple times, so not a lot, but I really want to use it a little bit more. Now let's go into the skincare. I have two primer waters. Well, one is a prime and set mist, and it's the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. Um, I'm trying to see how, this is probably just like an ounce. Nope. 25 mLs. 
so that won't be hard at all to use. And then my Smashbox primer water, I've used about a quarter of it, so I think that one will be a little easy to use too. I also have my Dermalogical Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I use this after I cleanse my face and get, you know, moisturized and all that fun stuff. Then I spray it with this. For my hair, I picked my sugar spray. So it's just kind of a texture spray that I can spray in my hair, crunch it up, and it just looks a little bit more textured. And it smells like the beach. So that's always a plus. I have two little samples, just a little almond milk body yogurt sample and a Times Camino Rose body lotion. I have my Exuviance Bionic Oxygen Facial. This you can use three to four times a week and it's about half full. So if I pull it, I'll remember to use it up. I have one serum, which is my Olay Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Treatment Daily Treatment. It's about up to here. So this one should be easy to use. I also have my Julep Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rosehip Seed Facial Oil, and that's about half full. And I can use this in the morning, at night, in the winter, summer, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. I also found a castor lash and brow like liquid. I wanna try and put this on my lash line. Just looks like a nail polish applicator. So I wanna try and use this this year and see if I can notice a difference in my lashes. But I knew if I pulled this, I would remember to use it more often instead of it just sitting there. I have the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir. So it's just a little one. I have a Pixi Rose Toner, and this is just 40 mLs. So like I said, most of these are deluxe sample sizes, but then I can see if I really like them and want to splurge to buy the full size. I also have my little mini native deodorant. The Earth Therapeutics Triple Three Butter Foot Balm. So this is about half full, but my feet get really dry in the winter months. So this will remind me to just use that after I get out of the shower. I also have a Hemp's Aroma Body Pure Herbal Extracts Milk and Honey. This is a 2.25 ounce, so I can easily throw this in my purse. Now we get to the moisturizers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Well, there's actually 10 in one eye cream. So I have a deluxe size of the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturizing Balm. I also have my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I have my Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator. I have a Youth to the People Adaptobin Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. I have my It Confidence in an Eye Cream. So this one is actually just an eye cream and there's actually a pretty good dent in there. The Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream for Anti-Aging. This one's about half full. My Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion which that's about full. The First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. I have a Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I have a Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And then I really do wanna finish off this Clinique. It's at, almost at the point where I have to like open this and scrape it to come out. And then for the nighttime ones, I have a Mint Pear Rosehip Night Serum. It's about three quarters full. An Origins Night Potency Night Amends Resurfacing Cream. And also the Han Hu Watermelon Illuminator Overnight Serum. So yes, there's a lot in here, but I think I can really challenge myself to use these products and focus on these when I'm also using products from my Shop My Stash. I also think I'm gonna use my Pixie 
Rose Glow Mist and try and use this one up and see if I really like it. I'm starting to like a lot more by Pixie. So that's what I want to use up for 2020. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell to the right of it. That way you are notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye, guys.